हे गाइस वेलकम टू सेलेनियम उइथ क्यूकम्बर फ्रेमवर्क क्रिएशन फ्रॉम द स्केच पार्ट 1 सेशन इन टुडे सेशन वी विल क्रिएट ए कंप्लीट फ्रेमवर्क फ्रॉम द स्केच विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्यूकम्बर सेलेनियम एंड जावा सो इन प्रीवियस 1 टू 7 सेशन व्हाटएवर पोस्टेड फॉर क्यूकम्बर यू ऑलरेडी सीन राइट डिफरेंट फीचर ऑफ क्यूकम्बर हाउ टू क्रिएट द फीचर्स फाइल राइट हाउ टू uh, create the step definition class, how to add the runner class, what is hook concept, how to uh, generate the different report in the HTML format or JSON format or the extended report format. In today's session, I will cover the complete framework session from the scratch part 1, where these are the different topics will be covered, how we can create a Maven project, after that how we can add all the important relevant dependency in the pom.xml file, how we can create a single features file, after that how we can create a step definition class where you can create all the method for the undefined steps, how we can create a runner class, right? After that whatever step definition class we are creating, how we can add the selenium code so that whatever uh, is the objective of our test cases right? It will also execute based on the code we are writing in the step definition class. How we can use hooks before and after hooks? How we can add the steps in the step definition class for verification or assertion? How we can execute runner class and generate sample reports? So this is the topics will be covered in the part 1 videos and part 2's videos the remaining one will be covered right what is like a uh, tagged right how we can add the screenshot in case of failure right how we can generate the extend report how we can add more features while uh, more undefined steps how we can add more assertion so that will be covered in the uh, next ses next part two session so first we will create a maven project in eclipse so i already opened the eclipse here so we'll be creating a maven project so where we will try to build a Cucumber, Selenium and Java framework from the scratch. Let us click on the file, click on the new, click on the project, we will be creating a Maven project here. So just select the Maven project and click on next. Here also you can click on next. Here we can select the archetype as Maven archetype says quick start 1.1 percent, click on the next. Here we can give the group id so you already know right group id in the maven is nothing but the id whatever is suitable for your organization or your customer or your work right so that i have given the name as other automation library which is the my youtube videos name and artifact id i'll be creating which is the project id right where you can easily identify that is the project so say i'll be creating uh, called uh, cucumber selenium so that is the project I want to create. So artifact group uh, group ID is nothing but your organization specific identifier and artifact ID is the project name. So if I click on the finish, so that project will be created. It will take couple of uh, seconds time to create the project completely. So you can see that uh, it's being displayed here. Cucumber. Uh, selenium framework based on the alphabetical order whatever project I have created so far in Eclipse and you could see there is a two folder uh, created src main java src test java right so we will uh, expand uh, that src test java and whatever default packages and default classes created right we can remove it okay so you can remove it so that is the first thing and uh, similarly uh, whatever default packages of the class created in the src main java we can also remove it because that will not be required so that is the first thing we will be creating we are creating a maven project the next thing we will be creating three package right in the src test java folder one is for capturing all the features one is for all the steps class we are creating one is for the runner class so we will be creating three package here new package let's create three package here one is features okay 
where you will be storing all the features file in case we have to create multiple features file we will be creating one packages uh, for steps definition class steps. So, we will be creating a package called steps steps. Okay. So, generally your package name should start with lower case letter and I will be creating another package for keeping my runner class which is called runner. Okay. So, this is the three <coughs> packages you need to create. After that, you need to go to the pom.xml file where you need to add all the dependency. Right? So, here I have already mentioned what are the dependencies we need to add it here. We need to add the cucumber java dependency, we need to add cucumber core dependency, we need to add cucumber j unit dependency, we need to add selenium java dependency because we will be adding selenium steps in the step definition class. We need to add cucumber pico container dependency, we need to add cucumber jarkin dependency and in case you want to generate the extend report with the help of cucumber, you need to add extend report cucumber 7 hyphen adapter dependency and we need to also add extend hyphen pdf report dependency. So, that are the dependency I already added from my previous project. So, under the dependencies tag you can add all the 7 dependency. Okay. So, I will be going to the dependency section whatever j unit dependency is already there I can remove it and here I can paste all the dependencies. Right. So, whatever dependency we are adding it here, we are adding cucumber java dependency, cucumber code dependency, selenium java dependency, cucumber jarkin dependency, cucumber j unit dependency, cucumber pico container dependency, extend report cucumber 7 adapter and the extend pdf report. So, in case you do not know the version right, you can directly simply go to the google here, you can open here and you can have add maven just type it maven dependency right and you can just select that maven repository dot com site you can go to that site after that you can add it right just like selenium java dependency so you can simply type it here you can click on the search button so that all the relevant dependency will be you can see it here selenium java so, based on the version you want to add, right, you can add it. So, whatever stable version, right, you can simply click on that version in case I want to add the 3.4.1. So, that I can click here in case I want to add 4.1 version. So, I can add it just and copy and paste it here. So, that is why I have just added all the dependency. After the dependency is added, just press on control S or the, the save the dependency. So, it might take couple of seconds time, right. So, that all the dependency will be getting added here to your project. So, that relevant jar file also be getting associated based on the version for the dependency you are getting added, right. So, these are the dependencies you need to add, okay. So, cucumber java, cucumber core, cucumber jwit, selenium java, cucumber pico container, cucumber jarkins and for the extend report 2 dependency, extend report cucumber 7 adapter, extend hyphen pdf report. So, just type it here whatever I have written one by one in that Maven repository folder and add the relevant dependency. So, in case you want to add the cucumber dependency, the version should be same. So, you can see cucumber java version is 7.2.3, I have used the same version for the other also, right. Uh, for the cucumber core 7.2.3, whatever relevant thing is there for the cucumber, for the cucumber jerkin 7.2.3, for cucumber j unit 7.2.3. <coughs> Cucumber Pico container 7.2.3. So, whatever will be relevant, just try to use the same version, otherwise, it might get some problem, right. So, you do not know what the problem can happen. After the dependencies added in save the project, right, if you click on the Maven dependency, we will able to see, right, all the Cucumber Java, right, Cucumber Jarkins, Cucumber Plugin, right, Cucumber Selenium Java, Selenium API, all will be added to your project so that whatever interfaces of the class or the relevant method is there, right, you can just use them. So, that is the second step, right. After creating the Maven project, you need to create three packages and you need to add all the dependency in your form.xml file. So, that relevant relevant jar file will be associated with that project. The step number four will be creating a features file, right. So, suppose say I want to automate 
the Facebook page here, right? I want to uh, just validate that whether the Facebook page will entering the inverted credential and clicking on the login button, some error message is coming. So that is my objective is negative validation. Like I want to enter something in the user ID password field and I'll be clicking on the login button. So some error message will be triggered. Okay. So that is my objective. If you log in button here, so there will be some error messages there, and that error message I want to validate. Okay, okay. the email address of the mobile number you entered is not connected to an account. Find an your account and log in. So that's the thing I want to validate it. So I'll be creating a features file first. So where I'll be creating a features file? So uh, in the features packages, I'll be creating a features file here. New, click on the other. Right, you can select the file from here and you can select the file, you can click on the next. Here, you can give right. So, this is the because for the step by step wise, so you need to create the feature file because you need, need even in case you need to work on multiple uh, pages, right? So, that multiple pages file you can create it and that will help you, right, uh, to update it in case something is required, right? So, that is the Facebook home page, right, or the Facebook login page. I can create a features file called Facebook login page dot dot feature so that is the thing you need to add for in case you are creating any features file so the dot features you need to add it and we can click on finish so as and when you are creating the features file you can see automatically uh, the cucumber <coughs> suggestion will be coming up here right you can see the author you can change your author name in case you want to give it and this is the thing is, I mean, uh, is kind of commented out, right? So, in case in the features file you want to comment it something, so that will not be picture, so you need to use the hash sign, right? After that, you can add anything, so that will be commented. So, that will give you more visibility to or more information about the features file, but that will not be included in your step, right? So, this is the author, keyword summary, you can give it features, list of the features is nothing but the uh, uh, list of the scenario, and scenario is nothing but the business rules or the business validation whatever you want to do and you can see whenever you are creating any uh, cucumber features file right definitely you need to give given when and then given is nothing but the precondition step and when is the actions whatever you are uh, performing for each and every uh, uh, step wise and then is nothing but the right whatever outcome or the uh, or the result is coming as part of your validation it is then and in case you can uh, enter multiples and and or or bar right in the given when then uh, to uh, um, give you more more and more steps so scenario outline right in case you want to create a, a kind of data driven testing right so you need to use the scenario outline so instead of scenario you can use the scenario outline and uh, and you can uh, use that way right so scenario outline you can use it and you can in case you want to go give more and more data driven parts so you need to uh, give the within that syntax right and you need to use the example <coughs> so that whatever um, row you you need to give it row wise right with the i mean that is the different segregator and whatever variation you need to give right you need to give as another row wise right so it will be separated by the pipe okay so this is the one row this is the another row where you need to give right you can see in case you want to go for your uh, multiple iteration with the different varying varying the data, so you can use scenario outline and the examples, right? Okay. Then you can give the some background, right? In case some of the step is common in nature, so you can give the background so that you can write as a background steps uh, common step. Then data table you can use you can use some tag and label. Suppose in case you differentiate, right? Some of the test case with smoke test or kind of uh, application level or the testing type level, you can give that tax name right you can give some comment right so that's why you can give it okay so i'll be removing everything so i'll be creating my own features file right so i'll be removing everything now what is my objective here okay i want to check the negative validation of the facebook page right so what is my objective objective will be i just will opening the facebook page right after the facebook page is open I will be enter uh, uh, the email ID and password is in build combination 
I'll click on the login button so that error message will come and I'll validate it, right? So that is my objective. So first, we'll be writing a feature. Okay, F E A T U R E, and you need to give colon. So immediately you can see the color is getting changed, right? So that is some of the keywords available in the cucumber, right? So I want to name the feature as Facebook login validation. That is my feature, right? Then I want to create a scenario. Just add the scenario, then add colon. So you can see immediately color is getting changed. So that is been. It is also keyword from the cucumber. To check the functionality for the Facebook login. Page with invalid login credential. Right? Either you will be giving username correct, incorrect, or the password incorrect. Okay? Then you need to use given when then. So given is nothing but the precondition. When is your steps, and then is the result of the outcome. So I'll be using given. So you can see immediately this color is getting changed. Right, given user already log into the Facebook page. Right, user log in to the Facebook login page. So that is the given or the precondition. Then I'll be giving when when user enters. Right, you uh, email as within the double quote I can keep it. Suppose say user name like that, whatever I want to do, it is invalid one, right? <coughs> when user enter email as this and user enter password as say password 1 right and click on log in button then what happened so given when I have given when I have given two more conditions, then login should be unsuccessful. Login should be unsuccessful and error message should be displayed. So that is my objective, right? Here I can also segregate in different steps, okay. But I don't want to keep it. You can also in the then you can add one more step as well, right? So this is my <coughs> step four: create a features file. After I create the features file, so whatever my objective, right? I want to open the Facebook. I uh, Facebook page already open. After that, so that is my given right and then i want to add email id and password and i want to click on the login button after that i want to validate that right the login should be unsuccessful and error message should be displayed so it will not navigate to the facebook home page right you can see that is the error message i need to display it. and error message should be without error message also you validate it okay so what is my features okay facebook login validation and scenario is a negative scenario right so to check the functionality of the facebook login page with invalid credential and given when multiple when condition and then condition I have given it right then I need to run it right run that features file okay to get all the undefined steps so how can I run it you can go to the run as and then configuration run configuration okay after that you need to create a new 
configuration test from the cucumber features right new features you can add it ok suppose say new configuration test that is the thing I want to run it with the help of that. So, here you need to browse your project right whatever project you have created. So, cucumber selenium training and also I want to browse right uh, my features whatever I have created now. So, what is the project is so I will be selecting the project first uh, cucumber selenium framework then src folder then test then java i will go to the features i will select the facebook login page features and i will apply it and i will run it so that it will give me all the undefined step whatever i want need to define in the step definition class if you go to the console you can see it's got executed scenario you can see it is coming to check the functionality for the Facebook login page with invalid credential, it is coming from the SRC test Java features, Facebook login page features, right? This is the step number three, right? You can see here the given user <coughs> login to the Facebook login page, yeah, right? When we are entering some email ID, password, and clicking on the login button, the login should be unsuccessful. And what is the undefined step is coming? You can see total five steps is undefined right so you need can copy the code here <coughs> from the undefined steps whatever five undefined steps is there you can copy it right and in the steps create a new class here so suppose say facebook page or you can create multiple uh, step definition cl class also, but I will be creating a single class where I will be adding all the steps, Facebook page steps, where I will be defining all the undefined steps. Okay. So, in that one, you need to paste it. Okay. You need to remove all the lines here, whatever comment and throw part is there, you can remove it. So, error message is there because I need to add it right the given when and then from the cucumber. So, that is the reason it is throwing some error. Okay. So, as and when we creating it right you can give in some comment right here. Okay. You can give in some comment right called Okay, so, comment is like you can give the <coughs> Facebook login page so that in case you are adding uh, the step for multiples class right you can search it if, like that Facebook login home page okay. or you can give the <coughs> features also features uh, okay. Facebook login home page the features is that is the features file name you can give it. So, you can easily get search right. So, let us rename, okay. you can give the complete one in the comment section. So, that any point of time you can search with that uh, features file and you can easily get all the methods associated to that features file. right? So, I will be importing the given when and then from the iocucumber.java.in, similarly when also right? same iocucumber.java.in and also then also because this is the cucumber features. So, now you can see the error message is gone. Now, if you go to the features file and if you want to run it right, you go to the run configuration again okay. and if you just select that new configuration test whatever project and features path has been defined and if you just run it. So, you will see right no steps okay one scenario one past five steps past okay and you can get to know from where it got passed right you can see this is the corresponding method it is giving so where the method is residing 
method is residing in the steps dot facebook page steps right that is the class that is the packages right and that is the corresponding method is getting executed right now we will be adding a runner class so i will be trying to run it if you refresh the project so no report should not be generated here if you expand the target you can see no report has been generated here okay so now i'll be adding a class in the runner's package so let's run up run up run dot java class right so you know how to run the runner class so here we need to use We will be <coughs> before the class after the package. We will be using at the rate run with. Here I need to give cucumber dot class. Okay, you can see it is coming from the io dot cucumber dot jvn dot cucumber. After that, I need to use at the rate cucumber options. So, alt enter if you do not know, sorry, control enter. Okay, it will give you the options. So, cucumber options here, you need to give the bucket. So, here I will be use, need to import it from the runner And in the cucumber options, right, I need to give features a few other things features equal to first bracket and you need to give the path of the features file not the complete project part but the src test java right src slash test slash java slash features so package path you can give it then you can give comma here so that is the features then you need to add the glue where the step definition class is residing right so here you need to give the bucket again here i'll be using the steps because that is the package right then i can use monochrome equal to true right and i can use publish equal to two okay and here in case you want to generate the relevant report right so you can add it suppose say i'll be using plugin plugin right i need to give the packet here plugin equal to sorry plugin equal to I can give second bracket here first it will be report will pretty tty pretty and then I can give comma and after that in case I want to generate the relevant report right so that I can give suppose I want to generate the HTML report I can give HTML colon and suppose in which folder I want to generate it suppose I want to generate the target folder target slash html hyphen reports slash report dot html and i need to keep double quote and i need to end with bracket right i need to give a comma here i need to give double quote okay so now if you want to save it and if you want to just run as JUnit test you can see it will be also running and it will give you more holistic report right with the help of JUnit run another class whatever we have added you can see here with the help of right runner dot runner class runner class it's added and this is your uh, features 
and this is your scenario right and if you go to the console right you can see the scenario got executed given when and then right and it is working based on the class and the features file available in the project it is giving you all the path as well as all the relevant method name from where it is running right now if you close the JUnit part if you refresh the project you could able to see the relevant uh, that HTML report in the target folder you can see here right if you right click here and you can open with some sort of web browser it will give you the HTML report right whatever has been generated with the help of cucumber or you can just copy it and you can open it in some browser so, so this will give you the stable report you can see so scenario execution summary one scenario passed this is the implementation detail because the cucumber jvm we have used 7.2.3 this is the runtime operating system right in case there is multiple tag associated if you want to search something you can give the tag if you expand it right you could see here this is the features facebook login validation this is the scenario executed given when and then right all the five different steps or got executed and scenario is successful so that's how you can generate the html report you can re generate other report json report right um, xml report or or, or the <coughs> or um, the extend report as well right in the next session i will be showing you all the reports okay now say uh, next thing is that i want to add the selenium relative step right in the class steps class whatever i have written it here right so i want to add it so how can you add it so that whatever steps we are writing it right so that execution also be done based on the approach okay so you know right for that one right you need to set up your browser properties right in case you want to execute it in the chrome browser firefox browser or the i browser you need to do the setup right so here first thing we'll be declaring a variable for the web driver class public static web driver driver global variable so that can be accessible all the methods whatever is available in the facebook page step class right so i can import it because the selenium java dependency i have added that is the reason i have able to import it so here whenever we want to log into the facebook page right so i need to add some hooks which will be the before hooks and after hooks before i open on want to log into the facebook page right i want to set up the browser details right so the uh, property details for the chrome browser i need to uh, call the chrome driver class i need to maximize the browser and in the after hooks right i can add some method for that closing the browser so i'll be using the hooks okay one is the before hook i'll be using Here in the before hooks, I will be creating a method called public static void setup. So, that is the method I want to create. Okay. And I will be calling after hooks where I want to create another method for quitting the browser. It will be tear down. So that is the advantage of the hooks so that will be common right so i need to import the before and after from the io dot cucumber dot java similarly after also these are the hooks in cucumber so in the tear down <coughs> i need to close or quit the browser right driver dot quit okay and in the before hooks so this is setup method so I need to copy the steps for setting up the Chrome driver. Okay, so that before opening to a URL, right, all the set the properties that will set. 
the set of methods. So that in case I need to call it multiple times, right? I need to graphing it to other pages, right? So that my browser properties will be set up. So with the help of system dot set properties, I am setting the uh, properties for the Chrome drivers, and I am creating object for instance from the with the help of web driver <coughs> interface in Selenium and the Chrome driver class and maximizing it. So that is the all the different thing I have written in the setup method in the before hooks. So the before your your test case is getting run, right? It will be executed. Actual actual step and after hooks. So once everything is done, it will be executed. So driver dot quit. Now <coughs> I want to log into the Facebook URL, right? Then how what are the step I will be adding? Driver dot get right and here i need to pass the url for the facebook so so that is the url i will passing into the facebook page so that's why i can define the steps right okay next thing you can see here user enters email as string right whatever thing you have want to add it right so here i'll be adding the okay so first i'll be identifying this F12 button to identify the element, F12 button from your keyboard, then in identify the element, email and password field. So I can identify with the help of name equal to email or ID equal to email, anything. So driver dot find element, right? Whatever I will be identifying with the help of ID by ID by dot ID. What is the ID? Email. So with that, I will be handing. As is a text field, I need to send keys, right? Something. Okay. So here the string, it will be whatever thing I can pass. It's supposed to say email, email variable, like right? okay. So here I will passing that one. So that automatically whatever email you are writing it in your features file, it will be automatically added. So that is the reasons I want to do some sort of instead of hard coding part right i want to give some variable right so that it will be changed in the runtime similar way for the other password field also right i want to add it suppose say here hey, string i can give password p w r d p a s s w r d password here also same keys i want to just change it and for the password i can inspect that element password right you can see here name is pass id is pass so i can change it to id is pass so that's my third step also done right then i want to click on the sign in button right so diver dot find element here i can change it to anything and it is a button so i want to click dot click right and no <coughs> variable is there because it's a button right i want to click it so let's inspect that one Okay, so what is the ID? Okay, name with the help of name I can identify. So name equal to login. Okay, so let's go with the name, change it to name and change it to pass to login. So I'll be able to click it here. Then the next last one is that login should be unsuccessful, error message should be displayed, right? So whatever error message is coming, I need to validate it whether it's uh, accurate or not, right? So so let's click on the sign in button after entering some password and let's take the error message first and store it some string right so what is the error message is coming just capture in the string first so that is my expected right i want to exchange expected so i'll be storing in some string expected error equal to sorry expected error variable you cannot give space error equal to within the double quote i'll be storing it so that is my expected error message i am storing it string right then the i need to identify a uh, x path or says something like that right for that error message so how can you create an x path error so you can see this is the class the parent level right so you can create an x path for that with the help of that class so let's um, use slash slash div here give third bracket add the red class equal to okay you can see one of one about the element right so with that help 
right i can create an xpath here so i'll be using driver dot find element by dot xpath so for the text path what you want to do you want to get the text right so that you will get validated get text okay so what is the return type string so you need to st store in some string so i'll be storing in some string string actual error okay so actual error i'll be storing in the string then i want to add some assertion right to whether my excel actually expected thing is working fine or not so you can add the test ng in your uh, dependency file or you can use the zero assertion as well assert dot assert equal okay what is the thing it is string okay so you can give the first what is expected error and then the actual error okay sr dot sr equal okay error message is coming so in case it's not working we can add that is ng otherwise it should work okay the j unit assertion so whatever step we have added so we'll be adding two hooks okay before and after hooks so before hooks so before uh, 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 writing our uh, uh, the given condition right we are navigating to the facebook page directly but we cannot go to the facebook page directly right we have to open the browser we have to maximize it after that we will launch the facebook page right so that is the reason in the before hooks right we are setting the properties for the chrome browser we are uh, uh, launching a browser we are maximizing the browser in the after hooks we are quitting the browser so in case you need to add multiple features file multiple test scenario right you can use it so in the uh, in the first method right you shall log into the facebook page with the help of driver.get i am navigating to the url and the second method i want to enter the email right whatever is mentioned in the features file so that is the reason i have mentioned the string is variable with the help of email id id is the email we are identifying it similarly we are entering the password we are clicking on the login button right so click on the login button in the last steps we are trying to get the expected error and we are getting the actual error after identifying the xpath and with the help of get text and we are just using the assert expected error and the actual error we are asserting so in case it is getting passed so it will be passed otherwise it will be fail one step will be fail and definitely your test case will be tested and it will be fail now let's try to run it with the help of runner class and let's see was it's running or not properly or not so here it will not only execute your steps but it will also execute the actual navigation right you can see the chrome driver is getting started successfully it will open the browser it will maximize the browser it will first open the facebook page once it is lodged right successfully it will enter the email id and password you will click on the login button so that error message will be displayed right it will get the error message it will validate the expected and the actual error message okay so that's the different thing it will do validate you can see so all the step has been executed successfully no error message is there and here also you can see runs once of run and it is also passed right so this passed here in total finish time you can able to see 38 seconds if you refresh it right the html report you can just uh, go to the properties you can open it in the browser right you can see here your steps will be there right everything is passed here now say in case i am just validating i my in case my error message expected and the actual is not match right so here i am giving it one additional one in the expected part let's see Let's try to fail the test once one step, and let's see what is happening here. Let's try to execute the with the help of JNU test again. So here it will uh, uh, run based on the step given. It will open the browser with the help of V4 hooks. Right, it will maximize it after the with the help of text. I mean, take uh, steps whatever is 
written in the different method methods for the Facebook, right? So it will open the browser, it will uh, launch the Facebook page. Once the Facebook uh, site is fully loaded, it will enter the email ID password, it will click on the login button, it will get the error message, it will try to validate it. And in case it is not failed, right, you can see the thing is getting failed here, right? You can see why it is failure, right? You can see that particular step is got failed. What is the failure reason, right? If you ex if you go here, right, and if you right click, if you copy the trace, right, if you paste in some notepad, right, you can see the difference here, right? Generation failure, compensation failure expected was this. But actually, is coming, so that is the mismatch, right? So where it is getting failed, you can see S R equal step number hundred, right? It is not working. S R dot Java, right? If step number is sixty, login should be unsuccessful. Error message: This is the file this is getting failed. This is coming from the features file nine. Step number right? It is coming from that one. Features file says load number nine. Right, you can see one of our errors. Now, if you go here and refresh it again, you get the same path only it will display. Right, you can see fail one scenario got fail, and if you expand it, you can see right all the step got passed here. Only the last step got failed. What is the reason? That is the reason. Okay, so that's why you can can try to create your framework. So this is a my first session. For creating the framework from the scratch with the help of Cucumber, Java, and Selenium, I'll be creating one more session. So, what are the steps you need to follow so far? So, you need to create a Maven project. You need to create three different packages, right? For capturing the features, creating the features for capturing the undefined steps, and the runner class. You need to open the Pomod XML file. You need to add all the dependency: Cucumber Java, Cucumber Core, Cucumber JNet, Selenium Java, Cucumber Pico Containers, Cucumber Jorkins. For the external report, these are the two reports. Uh, I mean, the dependence also need to add. After that, you need to create a features file. So after it will, you need to run with the help of Cucumber's options, right? And you need to get all the undefined steps. So after that, you need to create a class for defining all the steps, where you will be not be adding any uh, steps for Selenium. After that, you need to add the steps for Selenium, right? In that one, where you can use the before and after hooks. Right, where you can before hooks you can use add the step of the shifting of the Chrome driver properties. In the after hooks you can quit down, and in the other remaining steps in the method you can just add the steps so that it will also simulate it. Right, based on the uh, given when and then condition. Right, and in the last one I will be trying to uh, just get the error message. Right, so in case error messages I am I am storing in some string, and the actual part I am with the help of identification I am getting the text and actually I am capturing. After that, I am trying to do some assertion. In case expected actually is matching, it will pass. After that, I will be trying to run with the help of JMN runner class, right? After adding the verification, in case it is passed, it will giving the test case pass, and in case fail, it will giving the fail. And also, I can validate the generate the HTML report. Okay. So in the upcoming part two sessions, I will try to create more features file on the different page, right? More steps, and also in case the test case is getting fail, how to create the screenshot. Right and also how to generate the extended report and other report also, so that it will complete that one framework session from the scratch with the help of BDD Cucumber, Selenium, and Java. So that's all from today's session. Thank you.